everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be doing Q&A and I have here my wonderful, amazing husband. So I know everything about him, but you guys don't know about him. So he will be telling you, <laughs> yeah, you get to know about him a little bit. So today it won't be like uh, about us, but it will be like about him. So, how are you feeling in my show? <laughs> oh yeah, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm coming from far away, uh, from the next room. <laughs> okay, yeah. here I want to be like a lobo. I used to watch his show every Sunday, but today he don't have any show. So it's like a lobo naga and the show, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's get started, shall okay, we? Okay, okay. So I have prepared here some questions. It's it's simple question, of course. This is our first Q and A. So, okay. So the first question will be, in which age you started to be independent? So independent is like, um, which age you started to work, to have your own apartment, and not depending on your parents, but trying to manage your own, uh, your life. So which age was that? Can you tell us? Well, thank you for the question. It's a good question. <laughs> I started working or learning my job as a roofer when I was 16. And then you have uh, three years you have to learn. You go once a week to school, for four days a week you go for work. And then when 19, I uh, passed my uh, test or my final exam. And then when you were 19 years 19 years old mm -hmm. and then I had my own apartment when I was 19 oh yeah so you had your own apartment when you were 19 years old 19 years old my first apartment in Stockheim mm -hmm. Stockheim okay. and uh, yeah I was very happy to be independent and uh, here in Germany we grow up to be more independent and have our own apartment standing on our own, own feet on our own money and yeah, and when I was 19, I was uh, out of nest, out of Hotel Mama. <laughs> hotel Mama. They say here at Hotel Mama, if uh, if you like very, uh, like with 30, you're still at, living at home, like you're living in Hotel Mama. Okay. But it's not that like your parents are chasing you. Okay, no, now no, no, you no. are old enough no. to go and not like that. Now no, it's no. up to you on up to, if yeah. you want to live your own or if you yeah. still want to live with your parents, yeah. it depends on you. Right? Or if your parents have house and they yeah. have apartment there or rooms yeah. there, it's of course also not bad to live there because yeah, yeah. you don't have to pay rent. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 And um, uh, what I was supposed to say, uh, but mostly they stay alone only yeah. the children they yeah. don't stay with your parents yeah yeah yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. and uh, even their parents like when they are old also they stay also themselves only they, they don't live together here like yeah. in india like we are like a uh, joint family it's we like to live together this stay is nice together. it's yeah. very nice yeah one way one way is nice also but the other way is sometimes like it's good to stay far and love each other also yeah. like that but yeah it's okay it's okay it depends yeah. on the circumstances also like yeah. some they stay with your parents some they stay separate okay yeah. now the next question will be what is your height someone has asked also in the comment what is his height so see my your height question. is uh, in in meters or centimeters is 190 centimeters or in feet is six two i think Okay, six, six one or six two. I think six two. Six, six feet two. two inches. I yeah. think his height is, yeah. And your shoe size? It's uh, in Europe is forty five, and then the Indian size I think is eleven, eleven or eleven and a half. Very difficult to get shoes in India for me. Only online I can order. Yeah. All the legal we are searching. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, te I'll tell you one story that happened. I mean, no negativity here, okay? Just an incident, it happened to us. We went to Nagaland. We went to Nagaland. Woke up, my home place. My hometown, I mean. And then um, his shoe was dirty. So he kept his shoe outside. Oh. <laughs> 
he kept his shoe outside because it was dirty. So later on, he went to check his shoe and it disappeared. Someone has stolen his shoe. It was nice shoe, na? It was yeah. nice shoe. It was an Adidas shoe. So then he's like now worrying because in Wokhatown, in Wokhatown, we will not find his size. Forget about Wokhatown. Even Siliguri, in any store, we don't get his no. size. We always order in Amazon online. So we were so much worried. And the next day is like my brother, he was having some program in his school. So we have to attend that program. And like, how can we go to the program in a sleeper, you know? So we were so much worried. And then we were trying to inform uh, the people who know us. And then we were trying to inform and then somebody mm. said, somebody said like, oh, we saw that guy, he's a drug addict. We saw that guy passing through your house. So maybe he might have taken because he used to steal people thing. And then he used to give mm. away and he used to exchange with uh, medicine and he used to take medicine. So we were like, okay, then maybe he's the only one. Otherwise, who will steal? No. There is no one in Wokhatan who wear 44 size shoe. 45 yeah. size shoe, yeah. yeah. So then we were like, we went to his place with one of my uh, sister. And then uh, my sister was talking to him. Okay, we know that you took the shoe. Uh, bring the shoe, shoe here right now. Bring here. We need that shoe. And he was like, oh, I kept it there somewhere far away. It's okay. And I don't have money to go in auto. And like, we were like, it's okay. We'll give you the auto fare. You bring the shoe back. And then he went, we, we like, we told him, if you don't bring, we'll tell the police. So he went and he brought the shoe. Luckily, the shoe was still there because there was no one to wear his size. Yeah. You know, if I think someone was there, it will be gone. I think so. Yeah, it will be gone. So uh, yeah. that's how we got back the shoe. Yeah. Okay, and now the next thing. <laughs> the next thing is, the next question is, number three, why you came to India? My question here is why you came to India is like uh, there are so many countries in the world so why did you choose India the first time you visited India you oh, know yeah. why did you choose to come to India or have you heard about India before also okay yeah I my, my sister when she was young she she was once in India and uh, why I like to come to India also is because it's very different to western world yeah. like uh, Europe or America, Australia, they're all kind of, I mean, they're different there, but it's like all Western world, it's all uh, kind of same. Different culture. The, but India is different culture, it's mm. totally different life. The, the language is yeah. totally different, the yeah. food is different. Yeah. It's a very, very interesting country, very, the lifestyle, the, the people. Uh, it was, before I came, it was, it's like, I find it very, very, very interesting. I stayed also once for three months in Lebanon because it's also totally different culture, Arabic culture, the food is different, the people mm. are totally different, it's mm. very interesting. Mm. So that's why um, it was uh, interesting to come to India to see mm. how India is. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you got so much connected to it, na? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think like you were thinking, oh, I'll go to India and uh, I'll, I'll marry a woman there. Nothing no, like no, that. Nothing like that. You nothing didn't like think that. anything. No, that. You nothing. just came to explore yeah, India. Exploring, yeah. Yeah. It was, and, yeah. Yeah. And it happened like love at first sight, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Love <laughs> at first sight. Yeah. And we fell in love. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, that will be next. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now the next question is how many countries have you visited? Um, I visited India, India. Um, I was in Australia for some time, um, America, Lebanon, and then different Europe countries, Italy, Switzerland, France, Austria, Holland, Holland. Um, America also, no? Yeah, I said America. Okay. Um, yeah. He is an explorer. I mean, not he, but your whole family. No? Yeah, my whole, my, yeah. my uh, His uncle, family is ex he, They are all around yeah, the world. Like one, one, un one uncle, he lives in uh, America. One is, uh, he was also in India and he's now in Greece. 
then uh, one is in Albania and then in Africa and Tanzania one guy is and uh, yeah different different countries my father lives in Lebanon so it's like it's like they say they, they have Hofmann's blood if you if you like this if it's pulling you uh, outside Germany it's like you have Hofmann's blood yeah but that's nice also now you get to like connect with so many yeah. people it's also nice or interesting yeah. to see uh, different countries also in India mm. there are so, so many poor people so we appreciate so much more what you have here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Come on, Dad. We are doing some question answer, okay? We are asking question to Daddy, okay? Okay, now the next, I think this will be the last question. Otherwise, the video will get very long. So, how many times did you come to Nagaland? Oh, Nagaland? Yeah. Um, it was, I think, a few times. I think many times, many times after we got married. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got married in Siliguri and my families they all came to Siliguri. I mean <laughs> I'm answering this. Otherwise if I say like after our uh, uh, wedding we went to Nagaland, you guys might be thinking, Oh then you guys married alone, family were not there. So just for that to make it clear my families they all came to Siliguri and after that after our marriage we went to Nagaland yeah. we went many times in the beginning because of his visa visa, yeah. visa because uh, since my document is all from Nagaland so we had to go back and then extend his visa again come back again extend his visa but thank God later on he got his OCI yeah, after two years of yeah. marriage yeah after two years of marriage Th there is a rule no? yeah yeah you have Only to be married two, two years, years yeah. and then you get this OCI visa yeah OCI OCI, OCI is like over city overseas citizenship of mm. India yeah so and yeah many times he visited Nagaland and yeah. like wh what do you like the most about Nagaland Nagaland is also a different I mean yeah. it's a small state but small state and but it's also I mean it's, it's every every place has its qualities but I like also it's very fruitful and ah, the, yeah, pineapple the, the, the land is the pineapple yeah. is so good yeah yeah the, the land is different, very uh, very open and friendly yeah 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 nagas are very hospitable yeah yeah, yeah. they are like mm. very kind doesn't matter mm. if it's their family or stranger they are very kind to welcome yeah, yeah. people in their house yeah. now they'll be like oh come sit eat with us like yeah, that yeah, so that's very true yeah yeah and of course the fruit he really loves pineapple <laughs> So I think if we ask him what do you remember about Nagaland, his first word will be pineapple. pineapple. Yes, they are so good. They are so yeah, Metsapema pineapple. Yeah, it's a really tasty one. Very tasty, no? Very good, very good. Yeah, so I think this is all for now and yeah, we cannot do more also. See, this one. Our little one. Our little one. <laughs> She's here now already <laughs> seeking for attention. She wants attention, you know. So uh, I hope you guys like our video <laughs> please comment down below and yeah we are always happy to read your comments you know so thank you so much for watching and supporting us so see you in our next vlog bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs>